Hello to the best fans in the world, all my slackers. How are you? This is Claxton. Uh, we're going to actually, this. these are the start of my tutorial videos. If you already know how to play, awesome. Um, congratulations, you're, you're amazing. Uh, if not, then this is a great place to start. And this is the first video, which basically I'm just going to show you what to do on day one. And we're just going to name this world Tutorial World, <coughs> for lack of a better name. Um, now, you got world options. You can actually set chests. Um, it cheats on and off. Uh, bonus chests, if you do it on, it starts you off with like a uh, little chest and some um, torches and a couple of tools. But I don't know, it didn't take long to get those anyway. Um, <clears throat> except torches. Torches can take a little bit, but I'm, we're going to do this all natural. <laughs> so anyway, done! Tutorial world, survival, create new world. Let's see what we get. Hopefully we don't wind up in the middle of the ocean. I almost thought we were going to for a second. What was that? I thought I saw a horse. Did you see a <gasps> There's horses. I see the horses. Okay. <laughs> There's day one. Um, very first thing you do is uh, we're in the perfect place. If you start off with like a desert or a plains, you don't really get this. So we're going to go start banging on some trees here. And what I'll do is I'll knock out this first one. Not the very bottom one. Because usually if you knock out the second one right here, <clears throat> knock out the one above it, you can then go all the way to the top of the tree from right here and you don't have to like jump up or build another block to get to the very top of the tree and what I mean by it see there you go there's the top and sometimes if you knock down the first one and then try to do that you can't reach it okay so that's how you get the entire tree and this usually works for any type of tree except for like the big giant redwood redwood trees in the jungle course because they're like you know 20,000 stories block story blocks high I can't talk right now <clears throat> English has left me confused and befuddled <clears throat> what does befuddled mean confused are you just saying fuddled and confused you saying confused and confused because you're confused about being confused okay sticks basics of Minecraft guys <clears throat> this is what we need so we got wood, and it doesn't matter which one you, which one you use. You put it in here, it's gonna some, it's gonna make wood. Now, this is birch wood, oak wood, and there's the jungle wood, and you can tell they're different colors, and they're even different colors when you put them out into the world. See? So if you want to make different colors for your house, you can. However, it does not matter which ones you use to make. A crafting table, it's always the same color. Alright, so the first thing you'll do is you get you knock down some trees, and then you get some you turn the trees into planks, and then you take the planks, turn them into sticks. Okay, this is a basic of building. And uh I'll show you how I did that, or I just split it in half. If you take your stack here, put it in a block, and then right click on it, you pick up half of it. Or approximately half if there's an odd number. Okay. And then you can sit here and just click on this if you want to. Or you just want to get the whole thing as much as you can build. You hold down shift and click. All of them come in here. There you go. And that's how you make sticks. And a single piece of wood is how you make a button. For opening doors and things like that. Okay. So that's the basis of that. And then we... <clears throat> for pretty much... For, uh, the only things you make in here are crafting tables... Um, there's a few other things we'll make. We you can just use four squares. But most of the time, you're going to use your crafting table to do everything. So you place down your crafting table, and now you've got a much bigger crafting area. For your very first pickaxe, it's going to be a wood pickaxe. You don't have to build a wood shovel. Um, usually, you can get a stone shovel pretty quick after you build a wooden pickaxe. And just pick this up by smacking it a couple times. I wouldn't even worry about it. We've got plenty of wood. And this, our little reminder, when we come back to this place, we can find it later. Okay. So then we're going to take a quick look around. If you look at through the mountains, like the mountainous areas, 
you can find usually like a little gully or something that has um, double tap Whoosh! that has uh, like a little cavern or something that you can go into to dig out some stone and some coal and things. And there is not one here. Um, oh, that's useful. And so are you. You are very useful. I know, right? That's what I was saying. Come here! Hello. You may think it's cruel to kill video game cows. It's actually very uh, necessary when you're first starting out this. <laughs> well, you're just a little jumpy fellow, aren't you? Okay. So if you don't see any stone right away, guaranteed if you dig down, you will find it. Okay, so just pretty much pick any place with your pickaxe, or you don't even need a pickaxe for digging in dirt. You use pretty much anything you want to dig in dirt, and eventually you will run into stone, like this. And all you need is one, two, three. And I have enough to build... I just put my workbench here on my crafting table. We now have enough to build a stone pickaxe. Which is much faster and uh, stronger than a wooden pickaxe. Okay. Then you take your stone pickaxe and it does break stone. It does not break a uh, diamond. You have to have an iron pickaxe to be able to break diamond. And also a redstone. Okay. Iron? Stone does that. We found some iron blocks. I wish we would have found one more. Uh, okay. So that's how you get started doing mining. One other thing I want to, want to point out that's really important here. <clears throat> Let me put a place for the crafting table. Is, uh, let's see. I am going to make an axe for chopping trees and let's make another pickaxe and a shovel okay now <clears throat> eight pieces of stone or cobblestone in a circle make an oven or a furnace okay that's what you'll use to cook food to uh, make coal which is what we're actually going to use it for so i'm going to put it right here and <clears throat> there we go now i'm going to chop down a tree all right so now we got just regular old oak wood okay we can go into our oven you put the regular oak wood in here, and you put you can use sticks, all right? But they burn pretty quick, so you have to use a couple. All right, so you use two of those, and you'll get one charcoal. Now you take the charcoal, and it burns for a long time. It gives you charcoal, and you can take the charcoal. You can use charcoal to cook, like your meat with. You can use charcoal to, uh, to make... Um, to do your smelting with. In other words, if you got ore like we got here, so I'm gonna no, I'm gonna get I'm gonna go ahead and grab just eight more of these. I'm gonna make one more oven to start doing different stuff in here. All right, got five charcoals. I'm going to start cooking some meat in there. Alright. <clears throat> and that's how you make your charcoal out of stuff you find up here. Instead of having to dig it out of the dirt. And it's a lot easier if you can find big clumps of it in the earth. Because that uh, that's usually a lot. You get usually get a lot more than just if you cook trees. But that's how it's done. Alright, and there you go. You got food. 
Of course, you got seeds here uh, to plant seeds. I'm going to make a hoe. What's up, hoe? <clears throat> Alright. You have to find a body of water. Take the hoe, right click on a piece of grass, and then plant your grass. Now, that will grow into uh, oats, or I think it's oats, yeah. And you can seeds from back in piles of grass on the ground. Or you can find seeds in treasure chests um, when you're exploring underneath. And the more seeds you have, the more grass you can plant to turn into oats or uh, wheat. Wheat is what it is. And then you can make that into bread. So that's how you get food. Also fishing poles. If you've got a body of water that's, I think it has to be too deep. You can fish for fish, and killing pigs will give you pork. And let's see, that's pretty much it for this first one. Um, oh, one other thing. <clears throat> it's kind of important. Any sticks, any kind of coal will make torches. And torches are very important to survive. Because they light places up so that you don't get attacked. Alright, so it's starting to get nighttime. When it starts to get nighttime after your first day, really the only thing you want to do is hide. So if you don't have a door yet, which you can make a door pretty easy by taking planks of wood <clears throat> and putting them six high on uh, two of the levels here. It makes a wooden door. Iron makes an iron door. Pretty simple. Um, I also like to do this. Two planks of wood side by side. Make a pressure plate to put in front of the door on the inside. That way I can walk up to it and it'll open up automatically. However, it won't let monsters in. So I'm going to do this. Just close this up here. Put me a torch. And then I'm going to start digging this way. <coughs> and here's the real world. Okay, but I'm going to put me a door. And pressure plate, door right here, pressure plate, opens the door from the inside, can't open it from the outside. And then when it gets nighttime, just hide around in here, mine if you're going to, um, and just have fun until daylight comes back, and then you go back up in the real world without worrying about getting eaten to death. But watch out for spiders and creepers that are left over after it turns daylight. Alright, well that's all the time i got for now. Hope you enjoy this starting tutorial, like day one tutorial of how to start a world of Minecraft and uh, if you've got any questions or comments want to know anything please leave me a comment down below um, that's the sound of death it means it's nighttime and death is coming uh, otherwise I'll see you guys later call my slackers thanks for, thanks for being slackers have fun